What's up, you guys? This is Karmic and Dane Santana, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Our angels, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel. This current karmic and ancestor messages for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, please protect me as I get into this energy. For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what the ancestors want you to know, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What does the ancestors want you to know? That they fighting for you? <laughs> Y'all see that? Ancestors in the five of wands. So your ancestors is really like fighting for you here in a situation. When it comes to some chaos and conflict, yeah, with something that you're trying to grow here. Okay, so whatever it is that you're trying to grow or whatever that you are in the midst of growing, your ancestors, you know, they're here. they fighting. So your ancestors are literally like fighting for you at this time because you have like a lot of chaos and conflict with whatever it is you're trying to build up, okay? Okay. <laughs> So your ancestors, you know, they had to come out, all right, is what I'm seeing with this energy here. So your ancestors is here. They want you to know that they're here, okay? When it comes to whatever chaos and conflict that you're going through or whatever somebody is trying to throw at you, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the T for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Somebody holding a grudge. Yeah, because you hit a jackpot and somebody else is bankrupt. Yeah, this boss daddy that's trying to cop block and dirt dig because you won't give him no money. Okay, in a situation. <laughs> Whoa, so you got a man that's mad at you? Hell yeah, I spent the deck on the emperor. You got a man mad at you. They holding a grudge? For some of y'all, this person feel like that. Something about your money. Like, they feel like something. <laughs> and they mad because you won't give them none. What the fuck? Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Somebody is upset. Something to do with Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is upset. Yeah. For some of y'all, this is like, because you got three of cups in the reverse. For some of y'all, this could be a couple different ways. This could be somebody that put you in a third party. And they could have dropped the third party. And whoever somebody dropped, this person could be mad because they're not getting money from somebody no more. And this person could really need money because they're in bankrupt. But somebody is not giving them no money no more. So this could be somebody in your energy, air signs. Somebody you dealing with. Or this could be you. Or this could be a situation where this is a friend. For some of y'all, this is a friend that feel like that. It's like you holding back from them because they feel like <laughs> you got all this money and you ain't sharing with them or something. <laughs> okay. I don't know why motherfuckers feel so entitled by shit that you have. Air signs. Like, motherfuckers feel like that, you know, you get out and you make your shit that you have to pay for everything with them or you have to do everything for them because you just got it. Like, bitch, if you don't get off your lazy ass and get out here and get your shit and stop motherfucking playing and stop being a broke, lazy asshole, like, really try to get out here and get your shit like y'all did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of Swords. For some of y'all, this could be somebody that wants you to help them legally. So somebody may hit you up and ask you to help them with something on the legal side. And for some of y'all, you're going to say no. And this is going to cause some chaos and some conflict or some kind of petty shit. Somebody going to feel very, very sad here. Okay, because you you turning them down. They're going to feel sad or they're going to try to cause some petty ass shit. Because you saying no. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Like, I, I can't stand entitled motherfuckers. Like, I can't stand people like that. I don't like people, period, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I can't stand entitled motherfuckers, though. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like y'all emotions is really aligned. And you ain't playing. Yeah, Emperor. For some of y'all, this is a friend. Okay, this is a friend that... No, this is not... This is a fake-ass friend, too. This is not a good friend. For some of y'all, this is a friend that you've had a lot of on and off situations with. And this is not a true... This this person is not true. They only around you because they feel like you're a jackpot. If you wasn't in this energy, they wouldn't want to fuck with you. And a lot of y'all know that. Yeah, you already know. This person is a fucking manipulator. For real, for real. They ain't got no love with them, for real. Regardless if it's family or friend or whoever. Okay. So you got Aries, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer. All right. What's this five of swords? Yeah. Whoever this person is, they feel like they have control over you for you to give them some money. Yeah. This person could have did is trying to do some manipulation that they feel like is going to work. Okay. But it's just going to knock them off balance. Because you still gonna say no. <laughs> What's the three of cups in the reverse? All right. So the king of cups. Yeah, knight of pentacles. For some of y'all, whoever this person is, they may try to get you out of character. So just stay calm. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we we in the flesh. And even myself, you know, I clap back, you know, here and there on motherfucker heads. You know what I'm saying? I don't apologize for it because it is it's who I am. You know what I'm saying? You come over here with this bullshit ass conflict energy, you're going to get that ass lit up. That's just how I roll. And I be very in tune when I be lighting up them asses. You know, I be, I be very like King of Cups upright. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I be very... So... Just try to stay calm, air signs. But I feel like you are when it comes to all this conflict. I'm hearing you're going to say what you got to say, and you're going to leave it at that. And that's just period. Do not go back and forth with these conflict ass hoes. Say what you got to say and leave it there. What's this Queen of Swords? What's this Queen of Swords? Yeah, Moon card. Because whoever this person is, they have hidden intentions on why they're in your life or why they want to fuck with you or whatever for a lot of y'all it's like somebody that you was married to is gonna try to sneak back in your energy to have sex with you or this could be somebody you was with for a long period of time yeah because somebody is trying to destroy something for you know they're trying to destroy something for you air signs so somebody is gonna come back in your energy and try to like feed off of you sexually to try to get some energy from you. Okay. Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords? Yeah. Whoever this person is. They feel like whatever they going to say. It's going to like put you. They going to have control. This person is very confident on having control over you. Yeah. They confident as hell. What's this Five of Wands? What's this five of wands? Yep. Tower. Okay. So for some of y'all, whoever this person is, everything is backfiring with this person. This person could have tried to put you in some kind of conflict or petty conflict shit with all they holes is what I'm hearing. Somebody tried to put you in a conflict with all they holes. But all that shit did was backfire. And now this person, for some of y'all, this person need help with their business or some shit. Now they suffering. That's what they ass get. <laughs> all right. King of Cups. What's this King of Cups? What's this King of Cups? Yeah, this person. I don't do reversals in these usually, okay? This deck. But with the high priestess, for a lot of y'all, you already know with this person. 
you already know for a lot of y'all you're really healing your energy from this this toxic person here okay some do the scorpio taurus virgo capricorn or aquarius a pisces it's like you healing yourself from this energy or you're led to listen to your intuition when it comes to this person because for a lot of y'all this person gonna come to you and they gonna be talking shit about you today about their business crumbling or some shit but it's because this person is very toxic this person is very very toxic okay so, I mean, this person is having a lot of chaos and conflict. Whatever this person do for work, it could be a lot of chaos and conflict going on at their job. Okay. Yeah, this is crazy. But for a lot of y'all, I just feel like you do have a lot of things under control here. Okay. It's like you got shit under control, but it's like... Somebody just feel entitled. I'm really feeling strong entitlement energy with whoever this is in your energy. Like they feel entitled to for you to do shit for them because they broke. Because they got back shit old and dude and shit. <laughs> it's like, motherfucker. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is this for my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Yeah, interact and relate. For some of you guys, you could be led to like connect with your family, older family or something like that. Yeah, you have a lot of support here. So if you've been seeing insects, that is your sign that you have a lot of support. Okay, that you good, you got a lot of support. Yeah, you're going to be receiving something that you lost. Yeah, shaman. Bottom of the day, clear your mind. So your ancestors want to make sure that you are like balancing everything out in life. Make sure you are having like a good balance between work, you know, love and all of that stuff. You know, whatever you balance besides work, your ancestors could be, you know, wanting you to have a healthy balance. Like when it comes to work, family, love, like have a healthy balance, you know, is what I'm hearing. Don't be all about work. Don't be all about family. It's like have a, a healthy balance. Okay. In a situation. Okay. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Also, somebody is uh secretly talking to like somebody could. Somebody could have a police friend that they secretly talking to or giving information to or something like that. Some do the Pisces. I heard Alex or Alexander. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. See some things from a higher perspective here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. Yeah, with a new romantic cycle. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's time to take action. Yep, luck is on your side. Your ancestors want you to know luck is on your side here. So what do you need to take action on? Let's see. Let's see. What do you need to take action on what does air signs need to take action on spirit take action what is this the wheel okay then we have the world so take action and closing the cycle completely closing the cycle not turning back because Somebody only wants to come back in your energy to play you again. For some of y'all, you may be confused, but don't be confused because I'm hearing your destiny is at play, but somebody wants to come back in your energy, but it's a closed cycle. So I'm hearing if the cycle is closed, leave it closed. Okay. No reopening. No, no, no. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Okay. <laughs> it's over with Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Yeah, you the light of the world. So for a lot of you guys, you can shed light on a lot of situations in life. Yeah, spring and summer. So there's a lot of things. I mean, summer and winter. So there's a lot of things happening in the summer, starting in the summer for you guys. Okay, something about the spotlight. Okay. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, some things could be up in the air at this time. Some things could be still being written. Or I'm hearing something about you writing a book, writing something. So if you lay it to like write a book or write something, you need to get into it here. Okay? Because this, this is a part of your initiation as well. Okay? So some things could be up in the air because your ancestors are... It's basically like they waiting on you to make the move, okay? Keep the cycle closed. Or I'm hearing your ancestors want to see how you do with this test. That I'm hearing you could be about to get a test. You about to get tested. So it's like your ancestors want to see how you do with being tested before something else be granted to you. Okay, so it's like your ancestors want to make sure you're ready for the next step. So you could be about to get tested, okay, to see if you're ready. And if you're not ready, you're not ready. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean you're going to suffer. It just means, okay, you need to do some more healing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, depending on what you did, of course. But I mean, it's just saying that you need to do some more healing in that area, you know. So you could be about to get tested, okay, to see if you're really ready for the next level. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, we have productivity. It is time to examine your productivity. Disorganization and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get a clear view of how to get where you want to go and what it will take to get there. Okay. Strength. The bear symbolizes a strong source of support in times of difficulty and adversity. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth. With strength and confidence, you are free to roam at all. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. Okay? So don't be afraid to pop, to follow your path. For some of y'all, you may be going at some things alone or with your person. It may not be you and a whole lot of friends or different things like that. For some of y'all, it's either going to be you by yourself or you and your person. Okay? Yeah, we got married. Okay. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have model. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Q and we have O. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, bottom of the deck, somebody could be a dark skin tone and somebody could drive a Ford. Somebody could have a big chest. This succubus. So there's a succubus energy that has a big chest in your energy. Somebody could love wearing lip gloss. Truck driver. We got long nails. Rap artist. We have Y. Long eyelashes, real or fake. Someone got freckles. We have thick eyebrows. Janitor or housekeeper. Somebody could have an accent. We have J, some do the Libra. We have boat or yacht. Someone could love printed tops or make shirts or something. We have Scorpio, acting single, a incubus. What? Gap teeth, chains, a fake empress, married. <laughs> we have sports. Left arm tattoos, 
five kids or more. Somebody can have dimples. Huge decrease. Factory worker. We have engaged. Sunglasses, period. We have three, something to do with a Pisces or three children could be significant or the third floor. Somebody could have a nice watch or like an Apple watch. Somebody could wear something to do with Jessica or Jasmine or Jermaine, Justin, Geneva. Okay. I heard Yvonne, Yvonne. I heard Yeti. Okay. Something to do with Wyoming. I heard Windsor. Somebody could have a junior that's three years old. Junior, I'm hearing junior and three years old. Okay. All right, you guys. I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in your situation, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.